Okay, we are leaving now to go pick up the chickens from the post office. Hello. That is Bug. And there's Mommy. And there's Monkey, if you can see her. We just got the phone call about two hours ago that they were ready, that they had arrived. This is a day early than we were expecting. And we got an email yesterday that they shipped, but the shipping confirmation said that they were actually gonna come on Saturday. Today is Thursday. The email said that they were gonna come on Friday. So we're not ready. So we're not ready at all. We took today off so that we could prepare. We were supposed to drive to Virginia today to pick up fencing to make the run 10 feet longer, but we're not doing that today. We're gonna to do that tomorrow. So maybe we'll bring you along for the ride. It's a two hour ride to get it. So we'll see you back in a little bit when we get to the post office. It's about a 10 minute ride up to get to the post office. Okay guys, we just arrived at the post office. We are still in the middle of this whole COVID pandemic. So guys, before we go into the post office, what do we gotta do? Put on our masks. Masks on. And we'll be back when we get the checks. We are not gonna take the camera in because we're not sure if we can record inside. So I we'll be back when we get the checks. We will be right back. Thank you. Hey guys, so we just got the chickens at the post office. If you're wondering what they look like, this is what they come in when you get them at the post office. You can kind of peel it up a little bit and see the chickens. They're so cute. These are Americana slash Easter eggers. They're supposed to be all hens. So they will lay eggs for us. There should be 10 in there, maybe 11. It says they hatch at, says they hatched at 10 o'clock. So, so they hatched at 10 o'clock on the second. They came from Chicken Outfitters. So we are very excited. Now we're gonna take the babies home. All right guys, we're back. We just got home with the chickies. So we got it back from the post office. We should have 10 Easter Eggers or Americanas as they're called. These are Easter Eggers. These are not the certified. They're um, so loud. Yeah, they're so loud. They're chicky, so they're gonna be cheaping. Um, we took the straps off of them. This is how they come in the mail when you get them. If you get more than 10, the box is bigger, obviously. So, mommy, go ahead and open them up. Take a look at them. And there they are. Fluffy jeans. Oh, look at this gray one. Oh, so cute. It looks like all of them can make it. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We do have ten. I already oh. named this one Penelope. <laughs> you so want to name one. Monkey definitely wants to name one Penelope. I want you, you claim this one? Yes. I want to name one I like May. This one. I like the gray one. I want to name one Meg. Now, in the car on the way home, we were sneaking peeks in at them, and one of them, which one was it, Mommy? This one? The gray one was trying to poke Mommy in the eye. No, the gray one so is so the gray cute. one is a little feisty. It was, either, it was either the gray one or the brown one. I can't really. Now, we do have um, electrolytes that we're going to mix in with our water to give them a little bit more of a boost. And they're so because loud. Because shipping is very hard on the little chickies. They're a little afraid. They're getting louder. So, this is them. We will try to make more videos to walk you through the process of introducing them to our full-grown chickens. Young. They may not remember where they are, so every single one. Now, we did put electrolytes in our water. It's little packets that we bought at um, Tractor Supply. And, um, or actually, did we get them on Amazon or Tractor Supply? No, Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply. And, um, you just add it to a gallon of water, which we have pre-mixed, put in the fridge, ready to go. You mix up this morning. And um, but since they were in the mail, we want to make sure each and every one of them know where their water is. Normally, if we and bought them food. from elsewhere where they already had food and water in front of them, since this is their first introduction of food and water, we want to introduce each and every one of them to it. Oh, that one now, a little bit tired of being in the mail, so... So... Lost power there. Yeah. Um, so since they were in the mail, we wanted to show each and every one where their food and water is. Um, maybe we need to show this one again. Which 
this one? This one? No, this one that's right here against the wall. We have one that doesn't look like... There was two we thought wasn't doing too well, but I only see the one right now that seems kind of lethargic. That we want to keep an eye on. Here's their new home. Oh, they're drinking. That's good. We want to see them hopping around. We want to Typically see them. Typically, when one finds the water, the other ones will know where it is. Yeah, especially if you get them at Tractor Supply or other places and they already have the setup, then they usually follow their friends and you know they're healthy because they've been there for long enough. But when, you, when we get them in the mail, this is the first introduction ever to food and water. So we want to make sure they know where it is. Particularly the water. We want to get them hydrated. These guys were hatched, according to the postage, said June 2nd, but they were mailed yesterday, and the information said that um, the day that they are mailed is the day that they hatch, which would be yesterday. So they were born yesterday. And when we were in and the they car... they haven't had any food or water. And when we were in the car, um, and this was me earlier, one of them, like, you open up the little side of the container that they were in, and one just sticked its head out and tried to attack you. It was really funny and cute. Gray one. Yeah, it was a gray one. But they're eating. All right, so we're gonna let them get used to their new home. We'll just keep an eye on them. Let me close this for you. Look at this. Lainey is um, getting about part of the house ready for our. We now call them kids. They used to be our babies. About three weeks old, I think. Um, we have four leghorns and two ices in here. Since we have um, four adults outside, we have two, we call them teenagers. These are now our kids, and the ones we just got today are our babies. And this is Menace. We have two bunnies. Their hutch is outside. We just cleaned everything today. We pressure washed it and really thoroughly cleaned everything today. So this is going to be their new home uh -oh. down below. So they don't need the light anymore. Yep. Okay. okay, guys, we're back. And this will be the wrap-up of the video. As you can see, all the little chickies are doing well. They're running around. They're getting Having some food, fun. getting some drink. They got pine shavings already in their water dish, yeah. which is normal. And the teams are trying to make their way up through to get to them. Check them out. Fawn's checking them out. Say hi, Fawn. Say hi. Fawn just wants to lick them. And there's the teens. No, they're the kids. The kids. kids. Well, it looks like they're mostly over here. <laughs> so, so Monkey's got a little message for you. So, before we end this video, instead of start the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, and press the bell button right beside the subscribe button so you get a post no notification whenever we post a new video so you, you don't miss it. And you Smack okay? it. Smack that bell button. Shout Smack out! Alright guys, if you like this video, we are going to do some regular updates on these chickies. As they get bigger, you'll be surprised how quickly they will grow. Yes. And so, we will do some videos on the larger ones which are outside. We'll do some detailed videos of the coop, which is the shed, and some of our other animals, probably why we call ourselves Zoo Crazy, and why we refer to the house as a farm. So you, you've basically already seen like four of our pets. Oh, definitely. We have a lot more to go. So give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more. Any suggestions on what animals you would like to see? We have like a bearded dragon. Fish. Dogs, cats, fish, bunnies. Lots of fish. Lots of fish. <laughs> like over 1,000. Well, not 1,000. Chickens. Like 200 fish. Over like 200 fish. All right, guys. We'll be back in the next Bye. video. So thank you very much. Bye. I love you. Bye.